All right, welcome everybody to Southern Repair School training video. Today we are going to show you um, how to uh, repair a broken contact pad. Now in this um, video, or underneath this uh, microscope that we're looking at right now, this is the charging port, um, where the charging port goes. Uh, this is the platform for it, and here's all the contact pins right here. Um, here is the charger, charging port. Um, we already pre-removed that so we could show you. Of course, none of these pins are damaged yet. Um, what happens sometimes is when you remove the charging port, you might have a little bit of lifting and you might actually pull off one of these contact pads. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reenact pulling that contact pad off and then we're gonna show you how to repair that contact pad. Um, so let me zoom in a little bit uh, so we can actually see where we're working. Let me adjust the focus here. All right. All right, let me... Okay, so I'm just going to pick a random um, contact pad to reenact uh, it breaking off. So what I'm going to do is let's choose this one. Let me cut this with my razor blade here. And what I'll do is I'll actually use my soldering iron to remove it. All right? Get a little bit of heat there. All right. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to uh, cut this, remove it. Okay, so what would generally happen is, um, let's see, can you guys see that all right? All right, what would generally happen is this contact pad, let me give you guys some more light actually. What would generally happen is this contact pad would lift and completely be removed from the board. So um, we need that contact pad there because it has a functionality. For some reason, um, it has a purpose. It wouldn't be there if it didn't have a purpose. Okay, so um, this is what we're gonna do. First off, we're going to um, expose the trace or track, whatever you'd like to call it. It's what that contact pad uh, was attached to, okay? Um, So we'll go ahead and um, clean this off so you can see better. All right. So obviously you see no shininess right here because it's completely gone, right? The contact pad is completely gone. So what I'm going to do, which I've already done, is scrape right here to where the contact pad would be connected to. And what I want to do first is I actually want to add a little bit of solder um, to that contact pad because I'm going to replace and bridge and connect uh, the missing pad, all right? Let me get some solder here. Let me go ahead and just attach it to my um, soldering iron. All right. <clears throat> so we have solder on uh, what we scraped off. We exposed the, um, the copper and we added solder to the copper. So let me go ahead and clean that up again with some alcohol so you can get a better picture of that. All right. There you go. All right, so now what we want to do is you can actually um, salvage a, another track or copper trace um, from another board, or you can actually purchase these, um, these traces and it makes your life a little bit easier, as I can show you here. It's just on a spool, right? 
and you just cut it to length however you want it and it works out good. So what I want to do right now is I actually, uh, a trick that I learned that makes my life a little bit easier is I'm actually going to not cut the uh, copper trace yet. I'm just going to um, solder it to the copper pad. Right. And I actually want a little bit better, I want better wetting than that on that copper trace. So I'm actually going to press that down at the same time and adhere it. All right, so I've went ahead and connected that. <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the length that I need all right, with my cutters. All right, just like that. And then I'm going to flatten that down And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add solder to it to keep it nice and sturdy. Um, what you can also do as well too is underneath this trace, uh, you can actually purchase an epoxy and you can put the epoxy underneath there. Uh, in this video, I'm not showing you how to do that because it's as simple as just placing the epoxy under there, flattening it down and just letting it dry. And then that glues it to the board. Um, but right now I just have it tacked down on the back just to give you guys an example of kind of how to do the, uh, the trace repair. Um, so right now we have the trace repair uh, flattened out. It's on the board. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add a little bit of solder to it. So I'm gonna add some flux to it. I'm gonna put a little bit of solder on my tip, my soldering iron tip. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to kind of hold that down, just add some solder to that. I'm going to give it a nice, better, I'm gonna, um, sorry, I was focused. I'm going to give it um, more solder on the, uh, on the pad, which I just did. Let me clean that up so you can see. And obviously it's durable because I'm brushing it with a toothbrush right now, so it's not going anywhere, right? It's not bending, it's not flexing, it's not doing any of that. All right, so as you can see, that is uh, a repaired trace or contact pad or track, whatever you like to call it. Um, this should uh, work just fine because this contact pad was actually connected to the back copper um, in the back here, which we reconnected it, and this would be a successful repair. So what you'd wanna do is take your charging port and place it back on here and, and solder everything back together. Um, again, that's uh, a uh, contact pad repair. Thank you again for tuning in to Cellular Repair School video training. We'll see you in the next video.